Welcome to Talking Jazz. My guest today is myself and the story about our current project of recordings and new versions of Joni Mitchell songs. And the reason why I want to introduce um, those recordings in the project today is that we will introduce some of these songs on Friday, March 4th at Merriman's Playhouse in South Bend. So I'm hoping we can get or entice some of you listeners to get some tickets and come on out. We'll do it in a very special um, cabaret type setting. And uh, the vocalist I'm collaborating with is the wonderful Janice Chaffee. There's ac actually a talking jazz show with her. And um, we just finished recording the music and I want to talk through the process today of taking some songs that have very special meaning and connotations and finding new ways of interpreting them and bringing them to a new era but keeping their meaning alive. And that's not easy sometimes. Um, I'm going to take four of them. And the way we'll do it is I'll play the original version. And then I'll explain what I did to recreate it for our jazz setting and to reimagine it. So I want to start with Joni Mitchell's Help Me. And Help Me is a selection from the Court and Spark album. Uh, 1974 was one of her most popular albums. And um, this one actually was a number one hit on the easy listening charts at the time. Because she collaborated with Tom Scott's LA Express and Tom Scott's group was very popular at the time in this jazz rock kind of crossover vein and um, very notable is that actually Joe Sample is on the electric piano and of course uh, Tom Scott on, on the woodwinds and reeds. So let's listen first to Joni Mitchell's original recording which very much is a sign of the times. The song is a love song it's about falling in love again and not being able to help it and it's kind of a seductive feel to it so here is uh joni mitchell's help me from the album court and spark from 1970. help me i think i'm falling in love again when i get that crazy feeling I'm You're a rambler and a gambler and a sweet-talking ladies' man And you love your loving I like you love your
that was Help Me, Joni Mitchell's original version from the album Chord and Spark, released in 1974 and featuring uh, Tom Scott and, of course, the wonderful Joe Sample on elect electric piano. And now I want to share our reimagined version and it's kind of a preview of things to come because we haven't released this album yet and we are just in the process of finishing it so it's it's a very special treat but um here's some things that i did and thought about when i rearranged it of course joni mitchell's song is, is a love song it has this seductive quality this way of not being able to help it to fall in love again even though you know it's it might not be a permanent thing it's just a spur of the moment and um we thought what about if we give give it a tango treatment tango has this seductive quality to it it's that moment when you can't help it you just dance and you're one. And there's um, the lyrics in there in the middle about dancing with the lady with the hole in the stockings. So tango it is. And um, this was actually the very last song that we did for the album. And it turned out to, to be, I think, one of the <laughs> best arrangements and versions so once I had the tango version, um, then I thought I want to keep the interaction between the instruments. You know, Tom Scott's group was a jazz influenced group. There was a lot of soloing and playing. So I did keep that. And um, then the whole seduction idea, I thought, what if we have a saxophone intro that's just blowing the blues at the moment. And I have to say that Greg Ward's little intro that he improvised as the first take is just incredibly beautiful. So we added that on to the beginning and, um, and then I worked with some of the textures of adding some organ. We, we added some background vo vocals and I, I'm really excited about this version that we came up with. So here it is. This is Help Me as recently recorded for our upcoming Joni Mitchell project and something that we'll introduce on Friday, March 4th at Marymount's Playhouse also. And it features Greg Ward on saxophone, uh, Jeremy Allen on bass, Cassius Gorns on the drums, uh, Monica Hersig on the keys and Janice Jaffe on the vocals. I 
imagined in our new project of Joni Mitchell songs, we're calling it the world of Joni Mitchell so far. And uh, one of the songs that we'll introduce at our upcoming performance at Merriman's Playhouse on Friday, March 4th, um, which will be a cabaret setting. It, it'll have um, my husband Peter Keenley on the bass and guitar. I'll be there on keyboard and Janice, so we'll have a very uh, intimate setting and interpretation. So the next song that I want to show you the transformation of is Both Sides Now. And this is probably one of the best known songs of Joni Mitchell and a very early song. Um, she wrote it in the mid 60s and um, it's interesting that she was actually criticized as maybe not being mature enough to write such a mature song where she ponders you know both sides of the clouds both sides of love both sides of life but you know it's not about having experienced everything you sing about but um being able to express the experiences as as you see them and as the world sees them and she was a master at this so both sides now um, has also been recorded several times by other artists including um, Herbie Hancock's version who was just gorgeous even Joni Mitchell re-recorded it um, with orchestral settings later on the album both sides now so let's just hear her original version as pure as it was and then i'll explain in a minute how we reimagined this song so here is here is both sides now from the album clouds and this was recorded in 1968. Rows and flows of angel hair and ice cream castles in the air and feather canyons everywhere. I've looked at clouds that we Somehow it's love's illusions I 
schemes and surface crowds I've looked at life that way But now old friends are acting strange They shake their heads They say I've changed Well, something's lost But something's gained Both Sides Now by Joni Mitchell from her album Clouds. Very early song and one of her most popular songs. This was from 1966. And uh, here is what we did. Um, this is actually an arrangement that Janice Jaffe, who is the vocalist in our version, suggested early on. We've been doing that for a few years and um, the original is in a 4-4 four, four meter and Janice suggests is what if we give it a waltzy feel, give it a three and then it flows more in a more danceable mood. So I dressed it up in this 3-4 treatment and of course, you know, when I take songs I always dress up the harmonies and the chords so I did that for this one too but I was very careful of only adding colorful treatments and not trying to reharmonize the whole song because it's so meaningful in the words the way she looks at both sides of everything and contemplates how you can see both sides and be empathetic to both sides, you know, is, is, is a very important expression and I didn't want to blur that with crazy chords. So I, I just made it more colorful and underscored the words. So here is our version of Both Sides Now. And again, it features the wonderful group with Jeremy Allen on bass and Cassius Gones on the drums and Greg Ward on saxophone and Janice Jaffe on vocals, myself on the keyboards and you can also hear this version live on Friday, March 4th at Marion's Playhouse. Bows and flows of angel hair and ice cream castles in the air And purple canyons everywhere I've looked at clouds that way But now they only block the sun They rain, they snow on everyone So many things I would have done Clouds got in
Ferris wheels The dizzy dancing way you feel As every fairy tale comes real I've looked at love that way But now it's just another show classic and a new treatment that we just recorded and we will introduce some of the music on Friday March 4th at Merriman's Playhouse in South Bend and tickets are available on the Merriman's Playhouse website hopefully we'll see many of you there um going from probably her most popular song we'll go to her second most popular song um, this is Joni Mitchell's River and it sort of has become a Christmas classic even though it's not really a Christmas song but she uses a lot of jingle bells tinged uh, piano accompaniment on it and it's kind of set at Christmas time you know it starts out it's coming on Christmas and um, it's actually a really, really, really sad song. Every time I hear it, it makes me about cry. It's about this breakup. And it seems that it was her breakup with uh, Graham Nash, who she was in a relationship with um, from 1968 to 1970. And uh, she was 
it was during winter time <laughs> she was actually uh, connected in some way with James Taylor at the time she was visiting Chapel Hill and um, just reminiscing about what did I do wrong why did we break up and um, even though <laughs> it's about skating on the river and the Christmas time it's absolutely not a Christmas song it's a sad 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 love song so here's the original version of River which is from her 1971 album Blue That was Joni Mitchell's River from her 1971 album Blue, the original recording. And as I mentioned earlier, a very sad breakup story with her um, not lover anymore, Graham Nash. And so rearranging this song, it had to be something beautiful, something sad 
something featuring piano. And what I thought of was this river theme. So I tried to come up with a piano accompaniment that emulates the river that we can skate away on. And so you have this flowing little piano riff that starts out and keeps coming back in between and also closes it out. So imagine this as being the river that's flowing by that we want to skate on. And then of course it builds, we're reminiscing, so the drums come in and it builds up and it gets this rock feeling. And um, my f dear friend Carolyn Dutton is featured uh, on the violin for the solo part in here. And this, the chords are quite sophisticated. I try to um, get the jazz flavor in for the solo sections. And Carolyn does a marvelous job in soloing and, and expressing this longing, sad feeling. And um, then we'll get the other verses in and, and I'll take it on the piano and also have a little solo section and then come back to my river theme and the river flows and grows and we skate away on it when we get to the end. So here is our version of river and you can enjoy it live on Friday, March 4th at Merriman's Playhouse in a more intimate cabaret setting. But this version features uh, Carolyn Dutton on violin, uh, Jeremy Allen on bass, Janice Jaffe on vocals, and Monica Hersick on piano. It's coming on Christmas, they're cutting down trees, putting up reindeer, singing songs of joy and peace. I wish I had a river I could skate away on But it don't snow here, it stays pretty green Gonna make a lot of money, gonna quit this crazy scene I wish I had a river I could skate away I had a river so long I would teach my feet to fly
It's coming on Christmas, they're cutting down the trees, they're putting up reindeer, singing songs of joy and peace. I wish I had a river, I could skate away. That was our interpretation of River, a Joni Mitchell song and an arrangement that I did uh, for an upcoming album and of course something you might be able to hear at our upcoming performance at Merriman's Playhouse in South Bend on Friday, March 4th. And I would like to share one more treatment of a Joni Mitchell song that we are doing for this upcoming album. There's many more and we only have so much time, but I'm trying to show a range A of the songs that we tackled and B of the way we um, reimagined them. And initially Janice came to me at the beginning or during summer of 2020 when we were in this pandemic and all isolated and there was a lot to think about and and she called me one day and she said you know I've been looking at these lyrics together with my son and we've been thinking about what what Joni has to say and it applies so much to what we're going through and and all the issues we have these days and I want to make an album and and honor her words and bring them back in new versions and I said I'm in that sounds like a wonderful idea and I'm so glad we did so we worked uh, throughout that pandemic year and beyond we went into Janice's barn and out out there and and just sat in there and, and and worked on the songs and I'm so glad we found a way to make good use of the bit of extra time that we had. So the last one that I want to show you in the the or the process of reimagining it is actually the hissing of summer lawns, which is from the album with the title of the hissing of summer lawns, and it's kind of a dark lyric about this woman who chooses to stay in a marriage where she is nothing more than a piece of furniture trapped in this house where she has anything she wants and pool and gold but is absolutely unhappy and feels like she's chained to the house and not able to leave so the idea of summer lawns for us usually is fun good times good memories of summer but the hissing of summer lawns now becomes this this negative dark sound permanent and loud and and disturbing and initially the album actually got a really bad review from Rolling Stone magazine who the writer was criticizing the music not the words he was very fond of the words but thought the the music didn't live up to what the words were saying however this album was nominated and um for for best female pop vocal performance in in 1977 and over time has really um, grown in accolades and people really appreciating how the, the depth of that album so let's play the music first 
the original version and then I'll tell you a little bit how we um, interpreted the darkness. So here is the hissing of summer lawns from the 1977 album with the same name, Joni Mitchell's original version. That was Joni Mitchell's The Hissing of Summer Lawns from her 1977 album with the same name. And uh, we have time for, this is the last segment, to show our reinterpretation of this song. A version that we recently recorded and hopefully we will be able to release the whole album later this year or early next year. And... Um, we will also bring the music this Friday, March 4th, to Merriman's Playhouse in our intimate cabaret setting. So when Janice brought this song to me, I quickly realized this has to show those two sides. A, there's the richness of the space being there in L.A. and overseeing vast luxury and then the darkness of being trapped darkness she thinks darkness so I started out using a little bit of Latin tinged flavor of showing here we are in LA California and um, when it gets to the darkness section I just said go crazy go dark let's have free and we go into this dark hole and somehow it comes back out and molds into the piano solo bringing it back to more contemplation on sitting there in the luxury of the pools and listening to the hissing of the summer lawns and eventually, though, we will end up back into this darkness and the darkness will consume us and keep us in that darkness. 
And jazz is such a wonderful way of being able to express these sentiments um, by going free, interacting with each other, and finding a way to dive into the darkness. So let me know what you think. Curious to hear, but I think this, this came out in in a very special way and it underscores that meaning of those hissing of summer lawns and this absolute desperate feeling of being trapped and not daring to move out of this marriage. So again, we'll play a lot of this music this Friday. March 4th at Merriman's Playhouse. Go get your tickets. Hope to see you there. And thank you for listening and, and look for this album to be released eventually. Hopefully we can share all the music soon. But this is our version of The Hissing of Summer Lawns featuring Janice Jaffe on vocals, Greg Ward on saxophone, Jeremy Allen on the bass, Cassius Gones on the drums and myself, Monica Hersick, on the piano. Thanks for listening and enjoy. He bought her a diamond for her throat. He put her in a ranch house on a hill. She could see the valley barbecues from her windowsill. of summer lawns He put up a barbed wire fence to keep out the unknown and on every metal thorn just a little blood of his own She patrols a fence of his to a Latin drum and the hissing of summer lawns
welcome to Talking Jazz. We introduced our Joni Mitchell project today to be heard on March 4th at Merriman's Playhouse in South Bend. Tune in for Talking Jazz every Thursday at 11 a.m. and every Monday at 7 p.m. right here on WETF 105.7 FM in South Bend, Indiana or online at wetfthejazzstation.org. Also find videos of previous shows on YouTube on the Monica Hersick channel. That's M-O-N-I-K-A-H-E-R-Z-I-G. Subscribe to get the newest updates. Thank you for listening. <laughs>